Hello, accountability buddies. It's Les, and it is an incredibly bright, chilly morning here in Massachusetts. And uh, I'm on my way to work, but I'm also on my way to a new location for walking. Um, I discovered when I headed out to the park yesterday, to Colgate Park, which that's not its actual name, it's Ray something farm, um, playground. And so when I headed out there, I realized I was leaving for the park at the middle school <laughs> pick up and drop off time. So when I got to a set of lights, there was just a huge long line of cars, which just slowed down my ability to, to get into the park and enjoy it. So I decided this morning that I would look at the map and see if there were any parks or and playgrounds and places with trails on my way to work. Now, I know that I could loop out to the other side of Lynn and walk in the Lynn Woods. Um, and that, that is something that I will eventually do. But right now, uh, I'm headed to Salem Woods. Salem Woods is kind of an interesting spot, and I enjoy a good history lesson. Um, so Salem Woods was purchased in the 70s from, I don't remember who it said, um, but the, the little, the website had a little information packet. And then in 1976, the year I was born, uh, they had a high school, a group of high school classes work on designing and building the trail, which I think that's amazing. This is a trail that was designed and built by high school students in the 70s. That's awesome. That's just really cool. So that is where I'm headed. I'm headed out to Salem Woods, south of Wilson Road, which is off of 107 or Highland Ave here in, in Salem. And uh, yeah, so I'll get some footage of the trail, what it's like to walk it, probably give you a little bit of an overview of that after I get done with the trail. Um, I might not be able to do the whole thing today. I might, I'm probably gonna have to hop, head back out on another day to get the rest of the trail um, because uh, I because I was looking at the maps and trying to figure out where I was going to go walking today um, I left a little late <clears throat> so and not not super late just like by 15 minutes late but um, I am just just thinking about like time wise and the commute to work it shouldn't take me that long to get to work after I get out of the park um, but also don't know what the light situation is going to be like on the, anyway, uh, I'm anxious about that. Um, and I'm excited about going to a new spot. I think that's a good topic to kind of talk about in terms of like what holds my interest. Um, obviously a park with a little bit of petty city drama is something that I enjoy. Um, it's just something like adds a little interest to it. Like, I think that's the reason, the, almost the entire reason I'm obsessed with Colgate Park is that there's some petty nonsense associated with it. Um, and I just, there's something about the petty nonsense that I find interesting. <clears throat> I'm a little, uh, aller I have, my allergies have been uh, pretty intense lately. Whatever's in the air for allergens right now is uh, bothering me. So um, anyway, I, I enjoy that about Colgate Park. I also enjoy the fact that there's a roadway, like there's a whole series of apartment buildings and things that are set off from the city that you just can't get to except for by the highway. It's fascinating. Like, why? Why is that like that? Um, but anyway, um, so the, I also enjoy the idea that high school students built the trails and helped design this trail system here in Salem, I think that would be, I mean, can you imagine being in a high school class now and building a trail system? I don't know if that could ever happen. I think that would be super cool, um, but I can't imagine that ever happening around here. So um, yeah, I think like I am someone that needs to have my walking area changed up regularly. Um, like it can't, 
it, I, can, I obviously like I keep going back to the willows I keep going back to winter island so obviously um, I'm all right with repeat performances of the same trails the same places to walk um, certain places hold my interest like winter island and um, the willows um, but like Red Rock Park did not hold my interest for very long and I suspect it's because most of that is paved um i really if i'm walking i prefer gravel and dirt and rocks over pavement and um and and you know something that like tar like i don't that that's not my favorite surface like i really like walking i think out in the woods i think having things be like a little spot of nature in my day is super helpful at holding my interest. Um, certainly I know that when I've headed out to Colgate Park that I feel much more relaxed, even though like I'm sucking down another cup of coffee while I'm out there, which I don't think really helps my relaxation at all. Um, but it certainly does. There's a whole, the whole process of making coffee adds to relaxation. Um, so yeah, so like being aware of the things that hold my interest, being aware of all of that is very, very helpful. Um, and, and just, you know, paying attention to all of that. So hopefully, uh, Salem Woods will hold my interest. I'm hoping to also get out to the Witch's Woods in, uh, my city and being able to see that. Um, but I'll give you an update on uh, what this little park is like when I'm done, and uh, I'll see you then. Bye. All right, I am just leaving Salem Woods and Old Salem Green Golf Course. Also, Salem Green Golf Course abuts the Salem Woods, and the parking lot for Salem Woods is the Salem Old Salem Green parking lot. You can also park at the high school on weekends or when school is not in session. Um, at least from the website. That's what the website said. I So I just finished my hike in Salem Woods and I have nothing to complain about other than I wasn't, I didn't realize it was going to be such a challenging hike. It was definitely worth the effort. So um, I will definitely be doing this again. So um, I did about 2.3 miles of pretty challenging terrain. Uh, I had read online, one of the reviews complained about it being very challenging. Um, it was challenging, but not super challenging. There was definitely some areas on the yellow trail, um, that if you are not comfortable with hiking and whatnot um, will be very hard. Uh, there's a lot of mud, a lot of really rocky, rooty areas. So I think just, just being aware of those things uh, should be enough for most people. Um, but overall, I gotta say, not, not bad at all. Um, pretty happy with that hike. A lot of really scenic spots, really, uh, I got to try and get out um, like at 7.30 some morning so I can do a coffee outside episode there because there are like four or five prime spots to really get a good like cup of coffee in overlooking really scenic areas. And um, I'm looking forward to that sort of like re relaxation. Um, I wasn't able to find the trails on Kamut or Strava. Um, hope, well, some of them were on Kamut, but not all of them. So hopefully um, my session will add some of them to Kamut. But my, um, so I was uh, not sure of how long the hike was gonna be. Um, I didn't even do half of the trails and I did two and a half miles. I think there's a good, good five miles of trails just that are on the yellow trail system. 
Um, but I'm going to get out and I'm going to, I want to do them all at some point. But uh, there are also little side trails throughout the whole trail system. And I didn't do any of those at all. Um, there are also clearly spots where um, people got confused about where the trail was and was not and uh, took little side quests um, and made their own trail. And that has happened over and over and over again. Um, it's it's uh, hard on the trail system. It's hard on the ecosystem to, when people do that. But at this point, like the little side quests are built into the trail system, so I'm not sure what to do about it. Anyway, uh, they could they could wall them off, I guess. But um, great trail. I'll give a full review at some point. I also recorded the whole thing, so I'll be putting that up as like a, probably a little review of the trail. Um, but yeah, that was a great time. Great, great, great time. So I got there at like 8.30. It's 10 o'clock now. So about an hour and a half for two and a half miles, uh, two and three, two and a third miles, two, 2.3 miles. Um, math is hard. Um, so I'm going to get to work. I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee at work because I didn't get my trail coffee. I kind of bummed about that, um, but it's all good. And uh, yeah, just uh, that was a really great hike first thing in the morning. Uh, the woods were super nice. They really reminded me of Maine in some senses. So, um, yeah. All right. I will see you next time.